The girl who stole the Eiffel Tower. The girl who stole the Eiffel Tower. It sounds just fascinating. The title is symbolic, of course. I mean, she doesn't really steal the Eiffel Tower. Does she? What's the story about? It's an action, suspense, uh, romantic melodrama, with lots of comedy, of course. And uh, deep down underneath, a substrata of social comment. Oh. Well, if I could just see the pages you've written, I could estimate the size of the typing job. <laughs> the pages, my dear girl, are right here. An Alexander Meyerheim production, The Girl Who Stole the Eiffel Tower. Original story and screenplay by Richard Benson. Here, with a page or two of interestingly photographed establishing shots, possibly from a helicopter, the boy and the girl meet. But, Mr. Benson, I... Now, after some uh, chit-chat, uh, getting to know you kind of stuff, uh, the thing I do so brilliantly, uh, we feel an uh, unconscious attraction between the two. Uh, uh, an indication to the audience of the tremulous beginnings of love. And then, conflict. We can tell by the music how deeply fraught with danger the whole situation is. And now, the first switch. The audience gasped when they realized they'd been fooled. Things are not what they seem. Not at all. In fact, the whole situation is completely reversed, involving the magnificently ingenious switch on the switch. Amazed by the sudden turn of events, the boy and girl realize how gravely they've misjudged each other. At that moment, the music turns ominous once more. They become aware of the danger that they're in. And the chase is on! Screaming tires, rooftops, long shots of their tiny figures racing through the empty, fear-gripped city. When suddenly, in a deserted alley, we see, seated on the clothes cover of a garbage can, licking its wet, rain-bedraggled fur, close shot, the cat. And now, as we build step by step to the climax, the music soars. And they're totally oblivious of the torrential rain pouring down upon them. The two fall happily and tenderly into each other's arms. And as the audience drools with sublimated sexual pleasure, the two enormous and highly paid heads come together for that ultimate and inevitable moment. The final, earth-moving, studio rent bang, theater filling, popcorn selling. Kiss. Fade out. The end.